So in this video, we're going to discuss how to complete your dividend discount model fourth hour project. Now in Bloomberg, this would be pretty simple. You would just enter, load your stocks ticker and then type DDM go. But when we're doing this information without Bloomberg, we have to use an, a few additional resources. So we're gonna use CAPM to estimate the required rate of return on our stock. So remember, I'm using, I'm doing Macy's. Um, use the beta of your stock from the previous assignment. So my beta is about 1.5 for my various sources. And I can get this information here um, using my quote from Macy's from the New York Stock Exchange, which has an annualized beta of 1.48. So I rounded that to five. So that's where I got that information. Then I'm going to need to calculate I need the uh, rate of return on the market and the risk-free rate in order to calculate cap M. So I'm giving you the market risk premium, which is RM minus RF, as 4.66%. I'm telling you that information. I gave you the data source in case you're interested in looking it up, but you don't need to look up anything. I'm just going to tell you that amount. Then I'm, I also gave you the annualized risk-free rate as 0.29%, and I'm giving you that data source as well. Again, you're not required to look that up, just um, but you are required to show this calculation and plug it in. So remember, cap M is equal to your risk free rate of return, which in this case, 0.29%, plus beta, which in this case, 1.5, times your market risk premium, which is equal to RM minus RF, or 4.66%. So that comes out to 7.28%, roughly. Now I'm going to, I'm gonna, you're required to show this calculation, and you see that in the rubric. Now I'm going to go to CIS market, or sorry, CSIMarket.com and find my company's most recent dividend and dividend annualized dividend growth rate. So let me show you how to do that on here. And the steps are written out for you. So what I'm going to do is load my ticker, which is Macy's. So just click M and enter. Then go to the red ribbon and scroll on dividend. I'm sorry, on fundamentals. Select fundamentals and then scroll down to dividend, select dividend, and this is going to give me dividend comparisons relative to earnings per share, five-year dividend growth rates, changes in payout, all of these kinds of things. But what I need, I can find by clicking on the dividend five-year annual growth rate. It gives me the standard five-year, but in order to plug into my dividend discount model, I need that on an annualized basis. So I can get the year over year annual dividend growth rate, which in this case is 0.47%, and the annualized dividend, which in this case is 1.5. I asked you to provide a screenshot of this, and you can see the steps written out that I followed right here. So include a screenshot showing me this screen right here where I'm getting my annual dividend growth rate and my most recent dividend, which would be my estimate of dividend zero. I'm going to use that information to estimate next year's dividend. So if DIV zero was 1.5, or $1.50 and my dividend growth rate is 0.47%, then DIV1 um, rounded would be $1.51. So that's DIV0 times 1 plus G. Then in question three, use the information gathered in steps one and two, which is my required rate of return based on cap M, my most recent dividend, DIV1, as well as my dividend growth rate to calculate my stock price according to the dividend discount model. And you're being asked to show this calculation as well. So P0 is equal to DIV1, which I estimated to be $1.51, divided by R, which I estimated to be 7.28%, minus G, which I estimated to be 0.47%. So I come up with 20 $2.13 as my intrinsic estimated value based on the dividend discount model. Now you'll know when I looked up the actual stock price of Macy's, it's $4.81. So clearly there's some major discrepancy here, right? I'm coming up with a price that's significantly higher. How do I explain that? So in this case, my company is currently undervalued by the market and use my knowledge of current market situations to explain it. Well, Macy's is a brick and mortar store. You don't go to brick and mortar stores anymore because we are all 
you know, afraid of getting the coronavirus, no one's shopping at those kinds of places, anywhere that you would go to shop, you're most likely going to be doing your shopping online, or you go out, you go to the grocery store, and that's certainly not Macy's. So I would definitely expect to see the stock price significantly less, um, and therefore for the company to be undervalued, um, as I see here. Okay, so that should help.